Okay, so today we're tying a simple caddis fly larva. We're using a size 6 Daiichi 1120 hook. It's a scud hook, it's got a nice curve on it. And we're going to use a 532nd bead or 3.8 millimeter brass. The first step we're going to do is attach the rib from, straight from the front all the way to the back. I'm going to go down to about the barb, and cut off the wire, give us this about three inches to work with, and we're going to start right away on the dubbing. You can use your favorite material. I'm going to use green, which is very traditional caddis larva. Now the trick to noodling some dubbing on your thread is to spin it on in one direction. If you're having issues, you can use dubbing wax or maybe a little bit of saliva. Sometimes I like to put a bowl of water beside my bench if I uh, get a large batch. Anyways, work your dubbing on. A little bit at the back, more at the front. Creates a nice taper. You can be a little bit messy about this because we're going to throw on a big rib after, so that'll lock everything in position. You won't have to worry about it. Is unraveling in the water. Just remember when you spin that dubbing on the thread one direction. space at the front, tuck that wire in, it's always pretty aesthetically pleasing if you put small segments at the back of the abdomen and then larger ones at the front. If you got extra wire just wrap it on there. Really securing this. Okay, a little whip here. And then to finish off, just like the natural, some, some really dark dubbing. I'm using brown. Brown gets even darker when you get it wet. Use whatever favorite dubbing you like. Remember the key to a nice dubbing noodle is start with a little bit of material, spin it on the thread in one direction. And if you need to, slide it up with your finger. And then you're gonna get it all again. Get a double bit finished. And that's it. I like leaving with a micro tag. If you got a nice dialing brush, now's the time. Don't go too hard on the wire or else you're going to scratch off the color. I like mine real buggy. But if you go up too crazy, you can always give it a little trim. That's it.